I'm Rocky, this is my husband Kimball, and together we're on a mission to turn our everyday escapades into memories that will make you smile it's raining. and inspire your own adventures. In today's video, we're spending one day in Rotterdam with a quick stop off in Delft, so come along as we explore these gems of the Netherlands and discover what makes them so special. So hit that subscribe button, join our quirky community, and let's turn every video into a mini vacation. So let's get up and go, it's just you and me, yeah. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. We are coming to you from Rotterdam today. And or is it Rotterdam? 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 Rotterdam. 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 Gotta ask someone. We just got in last night, and uh, before we actually get too far into this video, let's cut over to editing Rocky, because he has a nice little update on the journey and the travels that we had between Brussels and here. So let's go see what he has to say. Get to it. Wow, thank you for that special assignment. So yeah, pretty standard. We left Brussels around 10 a.m., but before we left the city, we really wanted to see one more thing. But in order to get there, we took the wrong path, drove around a giant park twice, and parked in the wrong park. Also, we could see Atomium. It's Atomium. There it is. Atomium. In the park, that's awesome. Let's leave. But we did get to see this cute puppy in the park, so it was all worth it. Right? But we didn't give up there. Well, I didn't. Kimball was like, let's go! But eventually we made our way to the side of the Brussels Expo slash Convention Center where the Atomium now sits. The Atomium was originally created for the Expo 58 World Fair and now sits as Belgium's most iconic attraction. And I have to say, it really is a marvel to see in person. Kimball, wouldn't you say? Meh. <laughs> Anyway, it was back to the highway and, you know, it was all your usual suspects. You had tunnels and bridges and signs, big rigs. So, you know, just standard fare. And then they had this place, which is more than tubes and, you know, some graffiti along the way. And then we finally arrived into the sleepy little town of Delft, where our favorite thing was obviously this girl's hair right here, but I would say in close second was the windmill. <laughs> you guys, I don't, I don't even know how to describe Delft other than it was probably one of our favorite cities that we visited, even though we only spent like an hour there. But I mean, the place was full of charm. It had, well, I mean, it had this guy. We have no idea what he's saying, but he was so charming. And then just street after street of beautiful canals with trees lining them, gorgeous views everywhere you turn. And they even had a few spots where you could walk down to sit right along the canal and just have a beautiful view. So you could grab a coffee and just come enjoy the peace and serenity. They had a hair salon called Kinky Capers. So, you know, sold. So we walked around the city a bit more and we eventually ended up making our way to the market, which we didn't really know existed, but it was a gorgeous, vibrant market with all sorts of stalls. They had fabrics and clothing and food. And honestly, the place was just hopping. There were so many people there and lots of dogs all over the place. So that was a lot of fun. And at the base of all this sits the Town Hall of Delft, which is a stunning building <laughs> against the backdrop. I, I wonder how many of the locals here actually take notice of it anymore or if it's just, you know, blurs into the background. But it was so pretty to see all the little details on that building. But, you know, we were getting a little hungry. So we went to Cafe Zondag. Yeah. It was a really cute place, and Kimball was having such a good time, mainly because I didn't tell him about that. <laughs> Something tells me he was getting a bit suspicious. And then while we were waiting for food, I figured we could play the what the hell is it on my macro lens. It's a plan. So the food finally came. Kimball got goat cheese with grilled veggie, toasty, and I got whatever that, I don't even know what it's called, to be honest with you, but it was so good. After lunch, Kimball went to the bathroom and then came back and played charades, trying to explain to me that there was a spider in there. Could have just said it. But then, you know, Kimball went pee, so I had to go pee. So I admired the artwork on the way, saw this cute sign with this cute little cat drinking beer, and went to the bathroom. It was one of those unisex bathrooms. It, you know, has like the same wash up area and individual stalls. And it was very small, I would say, but, you know, they had interesting reading and a friend to keep you company. So. Oh, two friends. How oh, nice. Hey, girl. Hey. And we would have given this bathroom five Kimmies, but because of the overabundance of friends, it gets two. 
And then after brunch, we ran into these two blackbirds who were doing this odd mouth thing. Like, are they feeding each other? Are they making out? I don't, like, what, what, do you guys know what they're doing? Anyway, so a lot of places in Delft and around Holland have this Royal Delft blue porcelain, which is everywhere, including on the walls. And we even found some, you know, on this cow on top of an electric box. But I mean, really, it's everywhere you go. And then I ran into this little doll shop that had a doll that gave me nightmares. So we quickly moved away from that and got to this really pretty blue heart found a pretty statue and just a bunch of really cute shops and other streets and things like that. Kimball wanted to sing a song for me. And I got to Delft. I'm glad to be in Delft with you. You'll edit that, it'll work. And uh, we found a lot of bikes because it's just that way in Holland. And then we eventually came across this market that had a beautiful square with trees and outdoor seating and this cow that was multicolored. Hi cow. Delft, how do you describe it in five words, go. Super cute, would live here. Yeah, we would. And we just kind of kept walking along the streets. I, one thing I did notice is that there was a lot of really cute cars everywhere, and it seemed to be a competition on who could get closest to the edge of the canal without falling in. But then some were just like pushing the boundaries a bit. After that, we just kept exploring and we ran into this bird who was clearly making waves in Delft. And then after a short walk, we eventually ran into this gorgeous wall. It was a map of Delft made completely from handmade ceramic tiles. So it showed all the different canals, different churches, important buildings. It even had Vermeer's girl with the pearl earring. But Vermeer lived in Delft his entire life, so I guess it makes a lot of sense. And as you walk through the city, you'll see everything girl with the pearl earring, from napkins to greeting cards to canvas prints posters, cups, plates, more plates, murals, tiles, fridge magnets. I mean, the list goes on. Come get your girl with a pearl earring today. We were going to head back to the car when we passed by this store called Heinen Delfs Blau. We don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, it was such a cool place. They had a little coffee shop and bakery on the left and a stunning concept store on the right, full of all sorts of goodness from the quintessentially Holland to the downright quirky and even somewhat bizarre but we loved this place. There were so many unique things to look at. Kimmel got really excited because you know how they have the little Dutch boy and girl kissing statues? Well, they had two little Dutch boys kissing, so obviously we had to get those, along with the balloon animal unicorn. You know, nothing but the essentials. Sadly, we couldn't fit the vase in the car, so we moved on. I was really tempted to get some of these cat tiles. It's rude to point. We wanted to get coffees for the road, so we stopped in Coffee Company, which is actually a local chain to Holland and maybe beyond, but it's a really great coffee shop that has workspace for people to bring their laptops, connect to Wi-Fi, and their coffee is delicious. But definitely get a coffee or get out! But the day was wearing on and we needed to check into our Airbnb. So a quick 25 minute drive later, we were in Rotterdam. And yeah, we're back here now. So uh, we wanted to give you a brief tour of the Airbnb. Are you okay? No. You good? What happened? I don't know, I'm just being me. Well, YouTube waits for no one, Kimball, okay? <laughs> Can't you just live through the pain? But we want to give you a brief update on our Airbnb uh, so you can see what it looks like. This is a good one. Okay, give us the tour, Kimball. Let me cut it around. Okay, so. Are we ready to go? We're ready and ready? action. Okay, so this isn't really the front door, but it feels like the front door. The front door is actually right there. So it's just that ton of stairwell. Is there a light? There is, perfect. So when you come in basically, well we can't, whatever, you come in through there. And then you come into this hallway. And then another door, well, I'll show you that later. We were very confused. We were like, is that someone else's house? Oh, there's someone else's tit up. Yeah, so come on in. All right, great. Okay, so this is the sitting room. The Let room. me, I'm gonna cut to widescreen. So you can fit all of me in. There you go. Okay, so come on into the living room. It's very nice, very spacious. We got the tram right outside, so we can just hop on and off if we really want to, but we're more of a walker kind of people. If we get tired, we can just bring it right back home. Anyway, we got some couches that you can sleep on. Got this cute little dining slash work slash art area. Slash editing station. Cute little notes from people who stayed. Okay, so we come in through, well, So from the living room, this is a little strange, but I'm not mad about it. We come into the bathroom. We have a walk-in shower, very nice. Is there a reason you're um, whisper mumbling? So we got shelving over here. Okay. Nice little toilet, or er, this is not a toilet. Well, for some. Sink, but I love that we have just all this so we can lay out all of our crap. 
It's so nice having this because in the last place, we're, in so many places you go to, there's not enough counter space. Well, the last place we had this much, like we had just the sink. Yeah, but this is so handy just to have, like, lay everything out. Also, just, I love that there's like added lighting here and there. Got a nice and it's like the nice upper lighting, not like the side lighting that makes you look like weird and like you never look right, so you just keep putting on the makeup. Let's rotate and look at the gigantic tub. That so, is huge. Will here. we use that? Well, I don't know. We could. But... Okay, well, they have one of these. Can you get in there real quick and just show us? Go ahead. I don't want to take my shoes. Okay, <laughs> never mind. We're not going to do that. Maybe later. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> and then we come into the bedroom, which I think originally this was the sitting area and that was the bedroom over there. Mm-hmm. I don't know, hundred percent, but yeah, very comfortable bed. It is very soft, very squishy, very Kimball. That's out there. <laughs> I don't know if we can actually go out there. Well, we can open the window. Why would we want to? Why wouldn't we? Oh well, now we can get out. You first. There's a little cute little seating area for the people down below. We have this scene that I think it looks like a weird little rabbit face with ears yeah. and like a little goatee or something. But then you have like, they're eating the deer. So anyway. Circle of life. Okay. Um, so this is that other door in the hallway that I showed you. Other side. There we were. Oh my God, memories. Don't waste electricity. So you could just walk in to the kitchen area, which is very nice. We can have our jackets in here. Rocky has all of it. Nice sink. We've got lots of uh, dinner plates. Mugs, great taste in everything. Uh, we've got a kettle and it's clean. Thank you, I appreciate that. Like it's clean and it's stocked of like everything that you need. Like a kettle. Um, I mean, you don't need a milk frother thingy, but well, you do need a milk frother. If you're gonna have Nespresso, girl knows what she's doing. Also in the fridge, which is here, she gave us oat milk and then beers and Cokes, which we don't need, but whatever, and leftover Biryani, we won't talk about it. Um, oh, she gave us some cookies and candy canes. <gasps> Most importantly, that's going in my pocket. Yeah, we'll take that for a minute. It'll pick me up on the walk. Um, and then this is cool, because it's like a little pass-through bar. We just put all of our vitamins here, so that we can take your vitamins in the morning, vitamins in the evening from either side. Mm -hmm. Fun. Vitamins. Oh, and then we can turn off that light. Okay, got it. This makes the nighttime more fun. You can turn that on. We tried sleeping with red lights and Kimball kept, kept thinking Satan was coming for him. I didn't think that. It just felt like, I don't know, Rock's all red lights, soothing. I'm all, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm more of a sunset person. All right, well, that was a really so, good tour, Kimball. I think you deserve a high five. Thanks, Rocky. Well, I can do this for a living. Okay, maybe not. So we need to really be on our lookout here because normally we're aware of cars and need to watch out for cars when we're walking around or vlogging or whatever. But like, I almost got nailed by a bike a yesterday go. because they have bike lanes everywhere. There's actually designated areas for bikes, which is lovely, but I just need to be really mindful that I don't just walk out in the middle of that. Cause it's like walking yeah. into a road basically. Yeah. So cut to me getting injured. Anyway, the first priority is to go get coffee clearly. So let's do that. Low motion plow to my coffee goes flying, and I'm like, no! It was telling us an interesting story about. Without my permission, no one may cross. All right, what does it mean? We I can't figure know. it out. What do you guys think this means? It says, Mr. Serious, what are we looking at? I see a lot of different things, but none of it makes. Okay, wait, it's a, is that like. Looks like the front of a boat right there. Looks like a rear view mirror with like the road. If you guys can figure out what that means, please let us know in the comments or if you know what it means, because we literally have no, we have no idea what we're looking at. I definitely see a boat now. I see a rear view mirror and I, I don't even know what I see. Whatever, moving on.
my hair was that long. Well, do you care to explain your latest installation here? Somebody was like, do you want children? And I was all, let me sculpt that answer. Yes. So we may have found our favorite new statue here in the Netherlands. Um, it's Santa Claus. It's Santa, guys. And what's he holding? Is it a Christmas tree? Surprise, surprise. <laughs> According to the artist, it could also represent a butt plug. So just a butt plug. Yes, you heard me right. A butt plug. So yes. Love him. Love him. Now we just need to see if we can find one for sale. But you'll notice too down the street, they have them just littered. All these Christmas trees just littered all over the place, which is so cute. Apparently when the statue was first installed, uh, people were like all upset about it. So they had to remove it and then they moved it to some museum and now it's back here because everyone loves it now. Yeah. Ahead of its time. We're much more accepting these days. Everyone's probably walking around with butt plugs in anyway. Right? Sweet. Oh good, it's being loser. Cool. They also have just beautiful stained glass windows everywhere, like all over the buildings here, so pretty. And then even on this one across the street, there's just really pretty mosaics right here, everywhere. Kimmel and I don't gamble, but if we did, where's the actual sign? Kimmel and I don't gamble, but if we did, it'd be the Queen's Casino. Kimmel, do you want to buy something from Scotch and Soda? No. Why not? Well, I don't need anything, and it's kind of pricey. Kind of. But really cool stuff. We just Yeah, it's just not my style. The, when we travel, we tend to spend the majority of our budget on food. Junk food. And not like... Knickknacks and art supplies. Exactly. But not like fancy food. It's more like just food in general. We're more diner cafe kind of guys. I'm not a big... Uh, oh, there's Rocky Shop. I'm not a big restaurant person. Fine. Whatever, I'm fine with that. I don't even care about that. Rotterdam Centrum. Hashtag. So we're on our way to brunch now and uh, basically we are walking up through a giant outdoor mall. We think it's a mall, we can't find a Claire's, so we're not sure, but anyway, it's a lot of shops. We haven't gone downstairs yet, we don't know. That's true, and um, anyway, it's really pretty out here. It's the, the whole city seems a lot newer than some of the other like older town centers we've been to, but this is really pretty, it's really cute. There's also bread everywhere. I think we've just been following the path of one lady who's been dropping entire slices of bread. Yeah, there's been like piles of it and crumbs and whole pieces of bread, it's just bizarre. And I'm equally delighted and scared to get to the end of that trail. Okay, time out, watch out for the train and we have to go look at holiday things, sorry. I know it's I know it's January or February at this point, but just, you guys bear with us, it's Christmas for us. You don't have to show them. Do you guys want to see it? Yeah. yeah! Oh my god, there's a train right there. Okay, now we can go. Look, it's so pretty they're even filming it. They're filming this guy walk up the stairs, look sad. He's acting. 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 How could you be sad? Oh my god, you guys, finally. It is a mall. Sorry, it is a mall. Did you find it? I found the Claire's. There. Oh. We're good. Who wants an ear piercing? Not me. I got like five of them and nothing in them. Okay, Kimball, walk through the tree for me. It's festive, it's Christmas, it's Kimball. Your motivation is festive Christmas season joy. That didn't seem very joyous to me. He got embarrassed by the guy. Were you shy? Well, I mean, I wasn't gonna be dancing through it with just somebody else in there. I'm just gonna scooch in right here if you don't mind. Uh, shh, shh. The safe word is Santa's butt plug. The bears.
Okay, while we're waiting for the traffic light, let's see what stickers we have. Which is in town? We have Unifake. What else do we have? Anything interesting, Kimball? Peckerhead Industries. Rum is dope. Is it? I guess it is for some. And what else? Anything else? It's kind of a bust. It's kind of a bust. I like this guy. Thank you. Follow the Kimball. City shots with Kimball. You guys, look, there's an entire shop of harps. Look how pretty they are. I don't mean to harp on this, but like, look how gorgeous. Oh I can hardly believe it. Lame. Yeah. Sorry, I know you're looking for the place to get in for brunch, but Cock Vanderpalm. Is that real? Maybe. So it's in this building, but I'm not sure where to get into. We are currently following Kimball in the search for the address to the brunch place because everything seems really unassuming and we don't know where it is. What brunch place are you taking me to? That's what I want to know. So we're going to Ted's Rotor Guest 701. All right. This is interesting. I feel like we're in an apartment building. Well, that was unnecessarily loud. You can't really Google map this place, can you? It's charming. Reminds me of like a student like university housing or event center or something. It's very charming. I like it. So far it's okay. Are you confused about artificial intelligence? Who isn't? Brilliant. I don't know what that means. Hopefully it's not offensive to anyone. Maybe we go to six. Have you heard the hips that wear the straps? Do we, do we walk the last? Is that literally floor? just like you can touch the wall that's going by? You want to jump out any second? People slapping their stickers on. It is. How weird. Look at all the stickers that people smack on there. Interesting. I feel safe. It better be tasty. Okay, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to read all the stickers as they go by. Yeah. Hey, click. the door. Gotcha. <gasps> Ted's all day brunch. Rotterdam, where are you? Where are you? Upstairs again. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh my god, it's like up these steep ass stairs. Okay, why not? Ted's. Kimball has chosen his table. Look at the view though here, guys. Like it's up on. Well, I figured you'd want to be by the window. It's such a pretty day. There's a little cutout right here of the wall. It has glass in it. Really pretty. Kimball, there are chickens out on the rooftop deck. We're definitely going to go look at the chickens later. We're just wandering around. This place is so empty, and we're the only ones here, but it looks so good, and it has really good reviews. And there's that lady that like wanders by, like on the rooftop. The bread lady. Um, that's the lady that was dropping bread. Kimball's right. We found her. I love when a story comes full circle. How's the hair? Let me see. It's fine. I don't remember what I wanted. It's okay. Super crunch on that side is really good. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, um, it is like refried greens or like a really fine pulled chicken or something. I don't know. Yum. These are the chicken things. So we just had a wonderful brunch at Ted's. <coughs> Excuse me. And they have an outside area. They're on the top of the building. And you have a really pretty 360 of the city with all the clouds and the buildings disappearing inside. How was your brunch? It was delicious, very feeling. Bitter ballons, yummy. Mmm. And yogurt, delish. And the latte was lovely. They had a mustard for the bitter ballons that I, I don't like mustard at all. He hates it. Um, but it was absolutely delicious. And he I ate it at all. Don't he know was what's like, happening. oh, mustard's delicious. My world makes no sense like anymore. Mustard. My world makes no sense anymore. Can you say that one more time? My world makes no sense anymore. Thank you. <laughs> Careful now. You don't want to slip and break a hip. 
Your turn. Very pigeon tight of you. Don't get lost. Uh, Jesus, don't lean into the buttons. I didn't. You did. You're all like, oh, look at that. And then it was like, whoa, spinal cord. You needed those. I don't think so. Compressed discs. We're in the elevator. Push it. Let's go. Kimball, let's go see what the future of tomorrow is. Are you ready? I mean, somebody just wrote it with a marker. Let's so I see. I think it's going to be. Are you ready? Yes, future. So we got giant Legos after the apocalypse. So excited. We've got the Maritime Museum. Museum. Kimball, street art, one out of a 10. What street art? Kimball, do you like this, this art or nay? Nay. Funny fact, I actually stole that joke from Kimball just moments before I was rolling. You steal all the funny stuff from me moments before you start rolling. Kimball says a lot of funny things that when I'm not filming, of course, and so I have to start filming and say them so that you guys get to enjoy all the wits that Kimball has. So let's all it's thank Kimball. Not... Let's take a moment to thank Kimball, everyone. Thank hey. you, Kimball. And when you do it, it's not quite the right delivery. A delivery is better than no delivery. You gross, that was nasty. delivered to the wrong address. Stop, Hanky Pink Shanghai. Not cute. Okay, we've got to the waterfront and um, there are a ton of ships here. I mean, it's a waterfront, but a lot of them look really cool. Is it really a waterfront? I mean, there's water and we're in front of it and it's in front of us, but like, this just feels like a canal or a wharf and like, where's the big water at? Where, you guys- I don't wanna walk that far. Can we only ask far. the big questions. Where's the big water? <laughs> where's, <laughs> where's the big water? <laughs> Shut up. I love you. Get over there. Apparently these cranes are among the earliest of like the electronically operated cranes. So we were way down there, and way over here is the big water. Oh my god, it's still funny. I don't know what's happening. Can you just walk in and watch them building things? What's going on? It's actually funny. It's the first time that I'm making one. Oh. And I was working there with the angle grinder to, to prepare the cross. And my my uh, uh, shirt caught fire. <laughs> so I don't know if that's divine intervention. Yeah, like, did you put anything on it to like mm -hmm. heal it? What mm -hmm. do you have for it? Is it a cooling thing or? Yeah, like a burning cream. I'm so sorry that happened. That sucks. But yeah. you did it for the church. That's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then you guys make stuff that actually gets used in uh, the city. Well, I'm, I'm mostly uh, like decoration. Okay. But indeed, we also use this forge for the maintenance of the ships outside. Oh, wow, how oh, interesting. And so, do you mind if I ask, like, how long does it take you to make a specific object? This one I made a, a while ago, and this took me maybe four or five hours okay, to okay. make, but I'm, I'm not the fastest. If my boss did it, he would be done in, in two hours. Wow, and so you guys have so many tools over there. I know, I know. This is also why I like working here. If I have any personal projects, then just, uh... <laughs> You can just grab a tool and go to work. Exactly. And you have like all the different things you need over in the little cubbies over there too, probably. That's right. And actually this, this table I made as well. Uh, you made uh, that table? Yep. Wow, that's really cool. And these legs, they're um, a, a pain in the butt. I'm Rocky, by the way. This is Kimball. Nice this... I'm Arno. Arno? 
Nice to meet you. Thanks for giving us a background on stuff too. That's awesome. <laughs> Bye, Arno. Ah. Kimba, where are you? That was so interesting. It's what? so random that they have that in there for people to just come. They have basically stadium seating so you can get a front row seat to the people making the ornaments and the shipping. Like they take care of all the boats. After. Maintenance things. Or the cranes or something. Bye, Arnold. He's cute. Poor guy. I don't know if he knows that he sends his hair, but I didn't want to mention it to him. So it's what you all came for. The suspension bridge. Yeah. Look at how pretty she is, you guys. You can see her, right? Right there. She's just right there. You can see it. You made me walk all the way over here. The ah. barge. We're just walking through a neighborhood and we came across this little park here that's so random and unexpected. Campbell, do you think we could? No, I think we could, but it's very wet. I don't need a moist booty. Never complained before. We found this really cute mural and we were like, is it done by children? And sure enough, it was a kindergarten class in 1994 and it has all their little names on there. So I'm sure they drive by and see it and go, God, we could have done better. I mean, it looks really good is what I'm saying for kids in kindergarten. But, you know, as an adult, I'd be like, that's my cow. Do you think the teacher was like, well, this one doesn't really fit in. So we're going to just put it off to the side. Maybe, maybe it was supposed to be the principal. What do you guys think? Anyway, good job, kids. The person on the left was herding the cows to the person with the axe oh, at the slaughterhouse. I think we're done with that now. Are we done? That's the story. And swipe left, just swipe. What's he doing, Kimball? Does he know we're here? He goes now. Is he cute? I love Rotterdam, it's so pretty here. I do too, it's lovely. It's so, the way the city's laid out is really interesting too. There's a lot of like greenery and a lot, what, is that a tree? Is that actually a tree over there? I'm sorry, time out, thought interrupted. What's happening? with this tree. What in, is it real? It can't be real, that's not real. What is happening? It's metal. It looks so realistic from far away. How bizarre. Thoughts on the tree? Pretty, thanks Giuseppe. Hello. Do you want to go to the gift shop? Okay. And it's 20 pounds to get in, so we didn't have that on the agenda today. 20 euros. 20 euros, sorry. Um, but we're looking at the museum gift shop. The gift shop was a bust. The bathrooms are just under the staircase. You can just like walk under them to go to the restroom. Interesting. And that's enough of this place. Let's move on. It smells like um, really good Toilet cotton bowl. candy oh. in there. So if you like museums, that's probably a really interesting one. Maybe. We have no clue. Check it out before you go. Don't get mad at us. Next. But what, are we, what are we thinking? I think something to do with kites. Something to do with kites. Shipwreck. How do you feel about it? How does this art make you feel? Your honest opinion. No opinions are wrong. It doesn't really make me feel anything. <sighs> it's a big sculpture of stuff. BT dubs, we're not gonna do the water bus today because you can't see anything on the water, so what's True. the point? Good. I'm just gonna stand in the shower with it on really hot and let the steam go around me and pretend I'm on the water bus. Mm. But I'll be getting cleaner. I'll ride that bus with you. Okay. So we have come to the city park, you can tell, because it's uh, AstroTurf. I think the most prominent feature, aside from the giant field of AstroTurf, is these lights that are like on these giant mechanical arms. I don't understand. 
what the purpose of that is, but it's cool. Um, also, what's happening, I just noticed on the building over there, like what is happening over there on this like big tilting, you guys see that in the background? Hanging off the building? So anyway, we're here at a city park. I don't know what kind of games they play on here, but I'm assuming there's something because they have different sections kind of blocked off. But yeah, if you guys have any idea what this game actually is, let me know because it looks fascinating. Okay, Kimball, you have to go get up on the mound alone and be the center of attention. Go ahead. Oh God, can I? And then you have to do something kind of like calling out yourself. Why don't you ever, ever have to do these things? Well, you don't like holding the camera, so I have to do all these things. Oh, he's doing it. This is so exciting. Everyone look at Kimball! <laughs> um, but anyway, we're just walking around killing time until we have dinner. And for dinner, we're doing uh, ramen from... A ramen restaurant. Okay, the ramen place. We'll let you know when we get there because we don't remember. We just came into the train station because it looked so glorious from outside and it's absolutely stunning inside too. Look at how clean and big it is. It's so bad. There's a ton of shops and they have this little blue bear. Well, he's not little, but he, they have this giant blue bear right there. Go hug him, Kimball. No. I'll wait here. No. Go ahead. There's a bench there though. Can they still get in their photo with them? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, go ahead. It's... No. You got it. Yeah, yeah. you got it. I feel like I'm in that hallway in Men in Black when they take them through that like screening area. I think we just need this sign for any any instance where anyone's complaining about anything. Oh, I have a crystal for that, no problem. Camel's so ready for dinner. I'm so not hungry. I don't know what to do. They got sides. What do I do, Murray? Oh my god, food? I love food. I'll probably get the Prague chicken. Prague chicken. <laughs> Damn right, elegant. Well, that's it. It's over. We're done again. Rotterdam. <laughs> done. We out. Um, we actually really enjoyed our time here. It was so beautiful. The people were so kind. It was super walkable. It felt safe. There was just so many benefits to being in the city that we could see. I don't know, what do you think? Uh, I really enjoyed it. I had my first like authentic Stroopwafel. Highly recommend mm. Dee Dee's Stroopwafel. Oh my God, it was delicious. Basically, uh, if you guys aren't from the area, if you don't know, Stroopwafel is a wafer waffle type cookie that has two layers. They bake it, they cut it in half, and then they put caramel in between the two layers. And then in here, they actually dip it in either white milk or dark chocolate, and then you can pick whatever kind of topping you want. It's so good, it's like a caramel syrup and stuff. So it's like super sticky, and as you peel it apart, it kind of like mm. pulls itself apart. It's really, really And they yummy. were still warm and gooey, ooey, yummy, yummy. Um, the coffee here has been wonderful everywhere we've been. Uh, if you're driving, don't take, well, don't miss your turn. <laughs> yes, I agree. We well, we took one wrong turn, and that was like, I really had to use the restroom, and it was like the worst wrong turn to take. We went over the bridge, to wherever. <laughs> it took us back. another 17 minutes to get around, basically. So yeah, if, if you leave the main city center and miss a turn, then you're kind of like... Yeah, unless you know where you're going, maybe we just don't know where we're going in Google Maps. Well, that's definitely true. We <laughs> definitely don't know where we're going. Mm -mm. What else do we want to say about... Um... My favorite place for coffee and breakfast. Wait, say that again, because I was cutting you off, Glenn. Yeah, if you could just... Okay, go ahead. My favorite place... My favorite... <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed the food and coffee right over at Roast. That's what I was trying to say. Wow. So where where do you where do you feel like your favorite breakfast place was? <laughs> <laughs> I need to cut my hangnail. Okay, I got distracted. Okay, everyone, times so we have to wait for Kimmy. Where's he's cutting a hangnail? Where's the green thing? Oh God, is it like buried? It's in my bag. Thing? It's under the pillow. We're fine. Don't worry. Take your time. Don't forget to do one little thing because then you have to unpack everything to find what you're looking for. And I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, are you coming over to do it on camera? <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
It's just, I don't want it to get snagged on something because that would just be awful. Aren't you so glad we brought those? Yes. Pack the essentials, y'all. Like this gigantic loofah. Whatever, I, I'm not using someone else's. What am I supposed to do, put soap on my hands and rub my body? What is this, medieval times? And back, good job, that was so quick. You know, I think one of my favorite places for breakfast was roast. The next stop on our journey is The Hague, or as they call it, Den Haag. Um, so we're going there, we're very excited. So we're, we actually need to get out of this Airbnb right now because we're our checkout time is now. So we're gonna pack up our stuff. So if you guys made it to the end of this video, we hope you enjoyed this little tour through Rotterdam. Uh, it's a beautiful city. We hope you guys get a chance to visit it someday. Uh, and yeah, we appreciate you guys. We hope you have a beautiful week. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. We have new videos coming out every Saturday and we will see you guys in the next video. So let's get out